going to tell me what the government is giving people to not work? So they're not giving anything away per se to people to not work. It's not an incentive. It's not, they're not incentivizing people to not work. People are disincentivized to work because the currency is collapsing. Um, I'm not, and I want to be very clear. I'm not picking on small business owners. I am one myself. I'm not picking on this content creator. I'm just using this as a jumping off point to explain, because I've been explaining this for, for many years now. I have like piles of videos explaining this. As your currency collapses, and all a currency collapses means the spending power is collapsing, meaning that the people that, you know, what you think of is a lot of money, right? You, you, we think of like, oh, if I pay somebody 40 bucks an hour, that's gonna hold their attention. What will 40 bucks an hour actually buy someone when you take out all the taxes, the travel time, the, when, you, when you take all that stuff out and all of a sudden it's just not as much money as you think because everything else has gone up so much more as a result of it. And it's gone up because the purchasing power of the currency is gone. That's through inflation. Inflation happens one way, too many dollars chasing too few goods and opportunities. That's, that's it. It's when you create more currency than there is stuff to buy like way more currency and you keep funding endless amounts of wars and you keep funding all kinds of pet projects and you keep hiring more government employees and on and on and on. Governments have nothing fundamentally. They have to borrow it, print it or steal it. That's it. They, they have nothing. So most people, of course, we've, we've trained a lot of young people, unfortunately, into looking to government to solve their problems rather than understanding that government actually is the problem right? It is the problem. Giant government, giant corporations, these actually, they work together and they are pretty much the problem. They're not the solution. Constantly going, it's just, it's no different than going, you know, you might as well go and pray or something like that. Something equally pointless. Like this is, this is where things are going. So when you're, if you don't have your currency collapsing, then it's very easy because prices tend to come down. It takes enormous amounts of effort to get prices to go up. OK, prices tend to come down and quality tends to increase in a free market. That's just how it works. But we haven't had a free market in a very, 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 very long time in this country, which is why so many small businesses are getting crippled. Remember, for those of you out there that have, that have followed me for any length of time and for those of you that have just found me recently, I will just point out to you. There's five things, top five things you would look at when any assessing any civilization, country or anything. Number one is the type of currency that they're using. Number two is the birth rate. Number three is small business is small business functioning. Are, are, are they actually surviving? Number four is ownership. Do the people actually own their property? Do they own their, their, do they own the land on which their business sits? Do they own the building? Do they own the equipment in there? Do they own any of this stuff? Or is this stuff all just somebody else's and you're just sort of renting it? And then number five is taxes. Those five things will tell you if a civilization is, has got a prayer in, in actually staying alive, right? So, to, to this to this content creator's point, why won't people work? It's because they don't feel connected to any of it. They their currency is worthless. They're 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 not having kids. I mean they're, they're just not right. I mean you've got a bunch of people that have said screw that. I want no I want no part of that because look how expensive it is. All right. And then on top of that you get the family courts and everything else. But I'm not going to go into that right now. And then the third one is your small businesses. Small businesses can't compete with any of this stuff because they can't compete with endlessly subsidized companies that are living on large S. Right. So when you when you take a bunch of people and you tell them shove all your money in the stock market, you put more money into these companies than they ever deserved to have. And now they're going to just now they just use it to buy down the prices. So it gives the illusion to people, you know, to the consumer, to the customer, that the prices are always that low. That's not the case. That's just not the case at all. Costs are costs. You're just seeing a lower price because those big companies are living on a huge amount of largesse and they're dropping the price artificially. This is just how it is. Uh, and then ownership, of course, also is, is a big big part of that. How many people are, are, are able to work for a company, any company, whether it's a small business or big business, and be able to actually own a piece of, piece of the country that they've been told their whole life is theirs? It's fewer and fewer every year. That's affecting people's psyche. That's messing with them. So they're, And they, they see the memes. You'll own nothing and be happy. They see that Klaus Schwab, WEF nonsense. We all see it, and we all look at it. And, we, and, then, and of course, now you have like, oh, you're going to pay a subscription to use a mouse on your computer? You, you've got to pay a subscription to have heat, have heated seats in your BMW. Like this is ridiculous, right? You don't own anything. You just have to constantly pay a subscription to to have, to be able to download a PDF, right? I mean, like this is this is where people are seeing this, and so because of that, they're looking at this saying, okay, well, I need to make a lot more money to pay for all this shit because everything I'm not going to own anything now. 
it's affecting employees. And so a bunch of employees, they, they throw their hands up. It's, it, there is no shortage of labor, I promise you. I, I promise you. Business owners out there, all you small business owners out there, I promise you, I guarantee you there's no shortage of labor. If you don't believe me, do a scientific test. You know, pay, offer $1,000 an hour for, for people to come work for you. You will see a labor surplus. Guaranteed. Guaranteed every time you will see a massive labor surplus. You will have literally millions of people applying for that one job because it pays enough for people to actually do something with. I'm not telling you to do this. I'm, and I'm using an absurd example, but but is it absurd? The currency is worth basically nothing. It's 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 collapsing. It's collapsing right in front of you. All all the king's horses and all the king's men, you know, they're not going to be able to put Humpty Dumpty back together again with this. This is this is the end of this, okay? And when your spending power goes away, then you then you have competency goes away, all this stuff. So that's just my thought. Um, unfortunately, to, to, to small business owners out there, you do what you can. Um, Peace work for people. Offer them, you know, offer them cash, and don't expect them to stay there for a long time because they're probably not. They're they're doing what they're doing what everybody else is doing. They're trying to figure out how they're going to be able to survive. And don't think for one moment, as a business owner myself, that if I found something more profitable, I'm gone. I'll go do that because that's just how that's just how things are right now, and it's how it's going to be until we get some semblance of honest currency, and which is honest, which is all that is is honest weights and measures. That's all that really comes down to. And when you have honest weights and measures, honest currency again, all that other shit comes back very quickly. Then then prices come down, people start owning more, and they're happy to work for companies for long periods of time. 